Bravo. Um, I'm a full-time artist. I mostly work in fabrics, but I also do freelance illustrating. So this is my piece right here that I did. It's an arcade cabinet made of felt and foam. Uh, I took two inspirations, Mrs. Pac-Man and Bioshock. Um, let's see, it's the biggest piece uh, I've ever made and I'm really excited about it. Uh, if it doesn't sell, I don't care, I'm going to keep it because I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I like the games. Um, so this art show we put on, uh, me and my husband, we have a toy company called Ghost Talk Toys. And this is our first art show we put together because we both really love video games. Uh, we bonded over them and we know so many great artists. So we asked them to be in the show and I believe we have over 30 artists. Okay. And yeah, everyone came through, everything looks great. And I hope to not only um, show off the artists, but I want people to be aware of the gallery we have here. It's called the, the Art Space Gallery. This is a building, it's a building where art, uh, artists live, live and work. And we also live here. So hopefully in the future we'll put on more shows in this gallery and people will know more about it. And when someone else puts on the show, those people will also come out and see that, that art. Hello everyone, so my name is Sandra Garcia, so we're here at the Power Up um, Gallery. Um, it's a tribute to video games, so as you were able to see me here with Michelle Delgado, we were able to see her piece of art, um, which is called Mr. Bumble's Arcade. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about more in detail about all of the other pieces of art of the artist. So let's go ahead and start. So let me go ahead and show you these three pieces of art. These amazing pieces of art are by Chris Sheehan or Sheehan, if I'm saying it right. Um, this first piece right here at the bottom, it's um, called the Sol Solid Snake. So it's a digital art paint. So this one is actually my favorite one, but not not smoking one um, because I really like how he was able to in detail do the shading, do the lines to bring a contrast of everything, especially even in the gun, like you can barely see the lines, but he created an amazing job. So the next one that we have over here is it's acrylic on canvas. Um, is the alternate reality plumber. Um, as you can see, it's Mario. We all love Mario, so it brings us back to our childhood. Um, I really like the way that the artist, uh, which is Juan Ornelas, he was able to bring a lot of colors uh, to this painting, which he helps it out like, to stand out for those people that really like a lot of colors. I think it's an amazing piece of art. Um, let's go ahead and go to that. Okay, so for this one, Marco Varte did an amazing job. Um, it's got a more. Um, I really, really like the way that he was able to draw and structure all of this. Um, this art is by Kristen Apolaka and it's called the Plant. Uh, it's made with acrylic marker. It's pretty much just a paper and acrylic marker. Um, I don't know, even though if it's only black and white, for me, it really helps out. And you can really see how big this is. So they're selling this piece of art for $200 over here. Um, I really like the way that even though he didn't use a lot of color, just by the lines that he was able to use, um, he was able to provide a little bit of shading. So let's go ahead and go to the next piece of art. Okay, over here on this side, we have the Nintendo 64. So we have it in different um, colors and different games like, I see, I believe this is Super Mario, um, 1960, um, 007, and Donkey Kong. And everything's made, made out of oil canvas, even like the control remotes and everything. The artist used a lot of um, color as well. Okay, the next piece of painting that we have here was actually made out of ink and paper. So it's just made, made with pen. So really simple. Um, this one, um, it's called Would You Like a Spot of Tea? So 
Once again, um, this artist, uh, um, Salvador Aguilar, also used um, shading to be, be able to bring contrast. He, he used plus shading. Um, and he was able to provide, also make it his piece of art, like 3D. He was able to push this one in the background, and the other one overlaps the other two, which is, it's, it's pretty cool because it's one of the, I think it's only the only 3D piece of art here at the, at the gallery.